Toya left the party, and he discovered a mysterious teddy bear. Toya followed the teddy bear and was led to his mistress. Toya met the leader of the fairy folk named Lean. She knew about him as a dragon slayer. Toya learned that she is over 600 years old and was shocked. Then Toya inquired about her teddy bear Paula, and Toya learned that she is a regular teddy bear who can move through null magic. Followed then, Lean showed her null magic program, which allowed her to make things move in a certain way. She inserted her magic into a chair, and the chair could move by himself. Then Toya learned that her spell can't move everything and isn't so powerful. As a result, Toya wanted to copy her spell, and he immediately applied the program. Toya could immediately mimic Lean's magic, and she was surprised. Lean couldn't believe Toya was so talented. When Lean learned that Toya is a genius, she wanted to make Toya to her student. Toya refused and ran to his bedroom. The next morning, Toya met Lindsay and Yumina, he asking his girls to help him create weapons. So Toya opened a portal to the forest, and Elsa used her magic to cut the dragon's tooth. Then Toya shaped the dragon's tooth into a pistol. He also produced ammunition, and used the magic program to make the bullets recharge themselves automatically. Then he tested his new pistol, which was very powerful, and it worked perfectly without any problems. The two girls were fascinated by Toya's gun, and they also wanted a gun like Toya's. So he made more pistols for Elsa and Yumina. The two were happy, and Toya added another spell to his weapon. Followed Toya could also transform his pistol into a sword. After Toya made his new weapon, he and the two girls went into town to have dinner. Suddenly, Kohaku felt strangers watching them. Toya wanted to greet the two strangers, so he appeared behind the two suspects. The suspects tried to escape from Toya, but Toya tracked them down with his Google Maps and shot them with rubber bullets. Then they were tied up, and Toya wanted to search them for weapons. He grabbed a woman's breasts. Then he recognized the two suspicious people. Toya learned that his maids are spies from the Kingdom of Belfast, tasked with protecting Yumina. So Toya found out that the two of them only intended to protect Toya's group all the time, and he gave his maids their knife back. After that, the two maids demanded that Toya need to keep their mission as a secret. Then Elsa and Yumina are seen eating curry, and they were overwhelmed by the spice. Toya also tried the curry, and he was also defeated by the curry's spiciness. In the days that followed, the alliance between the two kingdoms was sealed, and Toya returned to the kingdom of Belfast. After Toya returned to his mansion, he was greeted by everyone and the maids thanked Toya for secretly sending the two home first. After that, Toya went to his room with Kohaku, and he wanted to rest, and he was reading some Instagram memes on his phone. Then Toya and Kohaku fell asleep. When Toya woke up after a nap, he wanted to take a bath. The bathroom wasn't locked, and he saw his girls in their underwear. Toya had to apologize to the girls, but he enjoys the sight of his girl's body, while being scolded by them. The following day, Toya made bicycle tires, and Duke Albert came to visit Toya. Duke Albert got curious, and Toya told him that he is currently making bicycles. However, Duke Albert was allowed to ride Toya's created bicycle. He immediately fell down and desperately wanted to learn to ride a bicycle. The girls were also interested in Toya's created bicycle. Else remarked that riding a bike is difficult. Toya taught the girls to ride bicycles, but Yumina could drive it with ease, and she was praised by Toya. The other girls were jealous and competed with each other. Yahe also wanted to ride, but Elsa didn't want to lose to her sister, so she didn't share the bike with Yahe. When the two twins competed against each other, Duke Albert showed up, claiming that he is the best bike rider. The two twins were distracted and bump into each other. Then the Duke asked if Toya could also build a bike for his daughter Sushi. So Toya wanted to build a bike for Sushi, and he went to town to get the materials. Suddenly he saw a child who had committed pickpocketing. The child was threatened by other criminals and they wanted to kill the child with a knife. Toya stopped the criminals and he wanted to protect the little boy. When the criminals threatened Toya, he showed his gun and he defeated the criminals with rubber bullets. The little boy thanked Toya, suddenly his stomach growled. Toya offered to buy the little boy some food and he learned that the little boy is a girl. Reen hadn't eaten anything for three days and Toya found out that Reen is an orphan. Also, she steals to survive and didn't have a home. Toya wanted to help Reen and he offered her a good paying job at his home. Reen was happy about his offer to get a home with a good salary. Reen was then employed as a maid, and all the girls thought Reen was very cute. Then we see Toya with Yumina and Sushi in town. They happened to meet Arma, who was also shopping in Miss Mead. Suddenly, Toya spotted Leon and Olger, who were on a date together. Toya and his friends spied on them and watched the two on the date. Then Olger and Leon went into a restaurant. Sushi and Arma were too curious and asked Toya to do something. 
Toya then used a Riz spell with his phone, and they were able to watch the date of the two lovers. Sushi also wanted to experience a romantic date, and Yumina said that she is too young. Then Olger and Leon left the restaurant, and a man bumped into Arma. He apologized, and Toya remarked that it was King Jamuka. Followed then, they watched Olger and Leon's date together. Then an ordinary man was harassed by bandits, and Leon wanted to help him. The criminals got angry with Leon and threatened him with knives. King Jamuka and Toya wanted to help Leon, and they attacked the criminals while wearing masks. Toya and Jamuka were too strong, and the criminals lost instantly. Leon recognized Toya by his pimp clothes. When Olger appeared, King Jamuka used his Axel skill to disappear. Toya didn't manage to use Axel in time, so he helped Leon confess his feelings to Olger. As a result, Olger was happy about his confession of love, and she blushed. The two became a cute couple, and everyone was happy for them. Then Toya returned to his home with Yumina and had guests waiting for him. The teddy bear Paula appeared and greeted him. Toya found out that Lean and Charlotte came to visit him, and Yumina was surprised that Lean is the head of the fairies. Lean wanted to talk to Toya about a defeated crystal monster. Lean said she recently discovered another crystal monster. The monster wiped out an entire village, and she heard that Toya had defeated one before. Then Toya learned that Charlotte is Lean's student to learn more about Riz. In addition, Lean told about a legend that demons named Freys almost destroyed the whole world many years ago, and the demons possessed crystal-like bodies. Lean asked Toya for help with her research. She wanted to use Toya's gate. Followed then, Toya replied that he can only teleport to familiar locations. So Lean told Toya about the skill named Recall. With the null spell Recall, he can combine with gate to teleport to other people's familiar locations. Lean wanted to go to Ishin because she wanted to explore the ancient ruins. Following this, Toya used the recall spell with the support of Yahe, and he was able to visualize himself through his girl to the land of Ishin. After that, Toya teleports himself and his friends into a forest of Ishin.